Good morning, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited today. Yay. My husband took a vacation day today, and um, I get to go out garage selling. Woohoo! I thought I had to stay and wait on the, um, the drywall guy to come, um, but my husband decided to take off today, so <sighs> I found some garage sales. So, for, not the first garage sale of the year, but the first time actually going out and garage sailing, you know, as a purpose, you know, I found one here or there, you know, but I'm excited. So let's go. <laughs> so far, so good. Yay. I haven't got a whole lot, but some good stuff. Um, I'm being a little bit more picky than I was last year. Um, and a couple of the yard sales that I've come to up here, I have found signs that say neighborhood yard sale tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited when my daughter comes up. I, you know, we're, we get, usually go thrifting when she comes. So, the fact that there's like going to be three or four neighborhoods that are having yard sales is so good. Because it, it's kind of hard because sometimes when she comes up... <laughs> sometimes when she comes up, there's, you know, she doesn't find a whole lot. So, I'm hoping since there's going to be neighborhood yard sales... <laughs> But that's good. Um, what is this person doing? Oh my gosh. So anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I'm back home now. And as you can see, it is a beautiful in Kentucky today. And I decided to do the haul video outside. So I went to probably, um, I went to about four yard sales. Um, and I went to a few Goodwills. So everything I'm going to show you, I'll try to remember where I got it um, and let you know. Okay, so first off, I got this lion. And I hope you can see this good since it's outside. Um, I thought he was pretty cool. I don't know if he's brass or not. I paid $1.59 for him. I got him at the Goodwill. Uh, that will go to my booth. And then I got this little kind of African ethnic kind of guy that's uh, looks like he's playing the drums got him at the goodwill too paid a dollar 79 for him he will go to my booth and i got this at the goodwill and i thought this was just really really pretty it does have a little place on the side of it but um, i still thought it was beautiful um, it's a nativity and it's got a little tea light in the back and i paid a dollar 59 for that and then next up, I got these. They're in pretty good shape. They need to be conditioned, but they're men's Rockport sandals. This is a very expensive brand. Um, and I thought for, <laughs> I got these at the Goodwill. It looks like on the bottom, they retailed for $218. And I got these at the Goodwill for $3.99. So there's those. And then next up, I got this at the Goodwill. And it is just a, like, Hollister bag. It's like army green, and it has a long, um, long adjustable strap on it. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, somebody might like that. That's going to go to my booth. Somebody might like that this fall, uh, you know, for college or for high school or something to carry the books in. And then I got this at a garage sale, and it is a... Like the UK, I don't know if it's, it's not a dry fit if the um, brand is Coliseum, but it's UK. It's got a, like a half zip right here, and then on the back it's got um, Kentucky like that. So I paid $3 for that. That will go to my antique booth. And I got this at a garage sale for this uh, upcoming winter Christmas for my booth. He's a little Christmas fox. <laughs> Isn't he cute? And I paid $2 for him. So he'll go, go out to my booth. Okay, this right here is not real. Um, it is a replica. And I don't generally pick up replicas. Um, but there is people out there that do not care if something is authentic. They just like the look of it. It is a Louis Vuitton replica bag it looks like somebody has probably ordered it online and then got it and didn't like it 
Um, it's in really good condition. Um, the inside, I don't even think that whoever had this, I don't even think they carried it. Um, the inside is really nice. Um, but like I said, you know, I will put that in my booth and it will have replica, Louis Vuitton replica on it. I have sold one other replica in my booth. Um, that was a Louis Vuitton, uh, let's see, was it a Louis Vuitton? No, it was a Dooney. Dooney and Birkin, it was a replica, and I do put that, I disclose that on the tags, that way they know this is not real. Um, like I said, some people don't care, and but I don't generally pick those up, but I did this time. So that will go in my booth. I will not sell that online because I don't, I don't sell replica stuff online. And let's see, hi Oscar. Oscar's here. He wants to join the party. Say hi, Oscar. Can you say hi? Say hi to him. Mm, he's a good boy. Um, I picked up a couple of belts. Um, I thought I might um, put these in my booth. I've got a belt down there now. I'm going to see how it does. Um, but I thought this one was really cool. It's like that. And it just hooks inside. It's You, know, you can hook it. So anyway, paid... Dollar seventy nine. I think I got that at the Goodwill. And this one, I got at the Goodwill like that. It's just the regular buckle like that. Paid a dollar seventy nine for that one. I got this for Poshmark. I don't know how it's going to do. We'll wait and see. Um, it is an athletic top, just like that. And. Um, it is a small, and the brand of it is Cabby. Um, I've heard that this brand does pretty good. I don't know about athletic tops. I do have a Cabby. Um, I think I told you all this earlier. I have a Cabby that's on there. It's been on there for probably a week, uh, maybe four or five days, and I haven't had any activity on it, but I thought I'd pick this up and try it anyway. I think I paid like two fifty nine dollars for that or something. And then these are absolutely beautiful. Um, I have sold another pair of Colhan shoes. Um, these are, I don't know if you can see, they're red patent leather, and then they have just the regular leather right here. And they just, it's just a little pump like that. And they are a size seven and a half. So I might try those on Posh, and um, if they don't sell, then I'll take them to my booth. Okay. <clears throat> Got all this stuff. Let me put it back here real quick. It was a pretty good day. Um, like I said, I only went to four sales and then I hit like three Goodwills. Um, so not too bad. This right here is, um, the brand of this is Hayden Los Angeles. I've never heard of this brand. If you all know anything about that, let me know in the comments below. It's just a tunic like that and it's got this little string detail in the front and it's new with tags. So, um, it's a little bit, um, it's a size medium and I'm not sure if, I guess maybe somebody might wear that as a dress. I would probably wouldn't, I would wear that as a tunic cause it's a little bit too short for me. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I found this, I thought this was really pretty. Um, it's just a, one of the proverbs. Uh, he, he who pursues righteousness and love finds prosperity and honor. And it's just like a like a rock that you set around. I thought that was pretty. I got that for a dollar ninety nine. <coughs> Sorry, the allergies here are raging right now. Um, I picked up a couple pair of jeans. I picked up a pair of Levi's Low Skinny five forty fives. They are a size sixteen, like that, and they're in a. Uh, very good condition. The bottoms are in nice condition. Um, so I'll put those up on Poshmark. And the jeans at Goodwill are like five fifty nine, I think. Um, and then I found these um, Lily Pulitzer jeans. And so, I don't know. Lily Pulitzer is supposed to be pretty good. I've never seen a pair of jeans. So we'll try those and see. Um, 
Okay. Um, I picked up these for my booth. This is a little Thomas the Train little conductor's hat. I thought that was really, really cute. Um, I have sold some kid stuff in my booth. Not a whole lot, um, but I haven't put a whole lot in there. So, And then I found um, this little Thomas Train. I know that when you buy Thomas stuff um, retail, it's very expensive. And then this little um, wagon that hooks on like that. So, and I thought those were cute. Those were 99 cents each, so <coughs> should be able to do pretty good with those. Okay, and then this is the last thing that I got at the Goodwill. And it is a Pro Pots, um, like, crock that you would serve, like, dip in. And it's got the little lid that goes to it. Um, I asked the lady if they had tried it to make sure that it worked, and uh, she said that they try everything. I said, so if it doesn't work, they won't put it out, right? And she said, yes. She said, if it works, they put it out. So I picked up that. That was four ninety nine. I thought that was pretty good. I'll put that in my booth um, probably this fall. And then I got this. This was $3, and I thought this was really pretty. The brand of this is Miami, and it's a small, but I thought it was just really, really pretty. Just kind of a shirt like that and it's the uh it's got the cold shoulder sleeves very cute uh that will go to my booth and then i picked up this belt it's just a plain black belt um it's from american eagle like that so i got that for a dollar at a garage sale i'm gonna try the belts and see i don't know um, I got this, let's see, I got this and this and this. I got all three of these at the same garage sale, and they're all Vera Bradley. I got this one here, like that. Very nice. And this one here, like that. It's got the little, like that. thought that was very cute. Um, she had three on this one, four on this one, and then this big um, tote right here. She had five on that. Uh, very nice. Very good condition. I asked her if she would take, uh, it all added up to 11. I said, would you take 10 for all of it? And she said, yeah. So that was good. And then the last thing I got was this Coach Wallet wristlet. Like that. It's a little bit dirty at the top here, but I think I could clean that. Um very nice there's the strap on it and the inside the inside's got blue uh, that satiny blue on the inside and then it's got a uh, just a zip talk uh, zip pocket on the back with a band-aid in there <laughs> so paid two dollars for that so anyway guys that's it that's my haul I had a good day um, I was glad I was able to go today um, like I said earlier the couple of the yard sales I went to, they had signs up at the at the front of the um, neighborhood that said they're having their neighborhood yard sale tomorrow. And there was about three of them um, that were doing that. So my daughter's coming today with our grandson, and her and I are going to go out and probably go to those neighborhood yard sales tomorrow. And my husband will... He'll take Miles and, and, you know, take him to do some stuff, um, you know, while we're doing that. So I'll probably have another haul video coming after tomorrow. So um, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Definitely, that's important because the way that YouTube's working now, if you don't hit the notification uh, sometimes YouTube will not notify you if I've uploaded a new video and you won't get to see it. So make sure you hit that bell um, if you want to see my videos, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!